I'm sure people would, would like the ins and outs of it. Like if you know the industry really, really well, mm. you might, there might be other factors, but like it does ser- certainly seem like Tesla have been the driving force behind like spurring all the big companies into motion yeah. and, and making basically showing us early on, like a f- fair few years ago now with the Roadster that you could make an absolutely like bossing electric car. Yeah. Um, well, they're, they're, yeah, exactly. That was their, their idea, right? To start yeah. with was let's make an electric car that's well they did it for multiple reasons to make an electric car that's attractive and get people excited about Mm. electric cars and show that they're not just crappy you know boring kind of you know no range can't compete with a proper car so they built a sports car which was the Roadster but they also did that because they're a small company and a small company has to make a low volume product with a high price so they the Roadster fits that bill that's the type of car you have to make to start with Um, so that well, apparently, I mean, I've I've heard people talk about how that spurred on the people like Nissan to start developing the Leaf, spurred on uh, Chevy to start developing the Bolt. That yeah. They start even with the early Roadster, um, which by all accounts was a good, but not you know not a great car. Um, no, no, certainly not. No, uh, not you know it was it was you know it was good for what it what they had built with the resources they had yeah. and stuff um, but it was kind of just a sort of modded out sort of Lotus Elise I think wasn't it yeah um, it was good fun to drive and stuff but you know it was by no means perfect mm. um, but it did, it did suddenly show like okay here's here's what could happen like y- y- you could look at that and see where it could lead yeah um, with electric cars which yeah. is something that hadn't been done before to anyone near that extent no no so the Rosa was released in like 2008 so just after that mm. I think it was like I think it was like 2010 something like that the Leaf came out mm, 2010 um, yeah. which was I think it's got well, the, the the Roadster had something like 250 miles range or something like that like around there which was pretty big yeah, it's, it's about the same good. as the, the the more recent Teslas mm. um, and I think the Leaf's got slightly less which is like 120 something, yeah that's um, pretty I mean that's still decent like yeah, for, it's still it good. Depends on what you use it for, I mm. guess. But and and at that time, I think uh, Chevy started developing the Volt as well. Yeah, began the program. Yeah, well, they, that's looking at it. Yeah, that, I mean, that's so that's the kind of the reason that Tesla mm. like started. If you look at, like Elon Musk and and Tesla, Tesla's like explicit goal was yeah to like accelerate the transition to sustainable transport. Yes, which by doing by getting the big car companies to start producing electric cars is they're basically doing that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you take the, the you know what Tesla did as the catalyst for those cars, which it probably was, I, I think I think that was the. I, think, I don't know. I, the only reason I'm slightly hesitant to say that is because I don't know what the general opinion in the auto industry yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, That's kind of what I meant. But before. yes, yeah. But um, from everything I've heard, and obviously everything Tesla and and the the way it seems to have played out, it seems like they were the ones that did almost all of that. Mm. Um, yeah, that there was going to be a move to it, but they they basically sort of cut a path through and show yeah. people a way to do it. Yeah. So they're all, they're, they're all there. For example, there, there's reasons... Y- you could be very cynical and say that they're just saying that and it's kind of like a marketing thing in a way to market the company. Um, but they've made all their patents open source. Like, they don't... You know, everything, everything, the way that they bundle money into research and testing, mm. um, don't pay dividends to their shareholders, all these types of things. Yeah. For, from the very start, I mean, if that... It, basically, the reason the reason that I don't think there's a reason to be cynical or skeptical about that goal is because Elon Musk could have gone off and had like invested money in much less risky things than yeah. Tesla. Yeah, if he wanted and to potentially, make money, if he wanted to just, just make, make money, money, setting up a, a, a new electric American car company yeah. with a new technology which hadn't been done for like a hundred so years, just, taking so just on a like new car giant... company was a mental idea anyway. Yeah. Let alone an electric car company. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that's not the best way to make loads more money back. Yeah. That's not the way you would have done that, having not known where you were before. Yeah. Um, but that's the great thing to. about that statement. So it's a- I absolutely believe that that's what they're trying genuinely oh, yeah, trying yeah. to do. Oh yeah, same, absolutely. Like he, uh, yeah, Elon had already sort of shown that he could make a load of money, like with PayPal and stuff yeah. before. If that's what he wanted to do, yeah, he would have he would have been more he would have been smart. He pursued something purely for business reasons. Yeah. So yeah, but that's the great thing about that statement is that it kind of works as a marketing uh, slogan. It does, yeah, as well as yeah. being true. Yes, like that's the great thing about it. Yeah, um, it's it, a totally it different makes the way to look seem at very business. attractive, and yeah, 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 yeah. It's 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 cool. It's very cool. Yeah. So yeah, so so moving on from there, like we're talking about Tesla because obviously they are like 
one of the biggest players in electric cars. But oh, they, so, are, they are yeah. the biggest, undoubtedly the biggest. So moving on from there, like their next like big release, the Model S. Yeah. Um, which so it's followed up after the Nissan Leaf, like a couple of years later. Yeah, it's um, like twenty uh, twenty twelve or eleven or something, something like, like that. Yeah. yeah, and it was an absolute beast. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah i mean it, it was it's 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 that it's the realization of what that they were saying what tesla was saying before is that an, an electric car to sell an electric car to people it doesn't it's not that it has to you don't you don't just tell the only way to get people to really change their habits yeah. is not to tell them it's better for the planet it's better for whatever you have to make a better product yeah, than exactly. the thing that existed before yeah. because no, people don't give a shit yeah. like you you can vegeta a vegetarian can tell or a vegan can tell everyone that they shouldn't eat meat because it's evil and stuff but no one's going to stop no more really than, yeah like a small like percentage, a small of, percentage people will, of people but you're never going to get like you're never going to get a change. mass change you're no, never going to exactly. do it unless you make a better yeah. than meat substitute if you produce if you can if you can lab grow meat that's better than meat or as good as from animals then then like people yeah. people will change it potentially has to be better rather than just has as to good be better. as potentially um, um yeah so it's the same so thing with, it's with... the same thing with the electric cars yeah. you, you, that's the best way to get people to change and basically yeah. the model s was proof that they that they that tesla possible. believed that you could make a better car yeah. than an internal combustion engine yeah. car with an electric setup yeah um and a, i mean i've never driven one and i've never been in one i've seen one and they're very nice looking i'd absolutely love to drive one uh, yeah same the bloody hell they're fast i've probably scared <laughs> the crap out of myself yeah there's um, hilarious videos of people driving yeah them. um but uh, the, uh from from everyone who seems to have reviewed it uh, things like consumer reports and stuff i, I were blown away by how good yeah. it is not, like in, not in just compared, sense. yeah, not just compared to electric cars, but compared no, to no. like just no, any saying car. It's the, people saying it's the best car they've ever driven. Yeah, which is like amazing for an electric car. Yeah, you know that's their second car. Yeah. I mean, there there's there some parts of it. I think that uh, people were saying, you know, that the interior was a bit dodgy at the start, and you know, it wasn't that nice. It was a bit plain, and mm. the seats weren't that comfortable. I'm not I'm actually sure. Of, you know, I've never sat in the wild and experienced myself. But in terms of driving the car, in terms of um, all like, the, the get gizmos and gadgets on it, this you know, very up for doing all sorts of like uh, um, autopilot, pushing the t- car technology of cars forward. Yeah. Um, just everything about it, the way it's all runs, the fact it's got this like big iPad thing in it. Yeah, it's amazing. Like, the central console is just a screen. It's basically. just a screen, which means that they can update it, yeah. like centrally update all their cars. Yeah. All yeah, the, all the like software in their cars, yeah. and they do. Yeah, frequently um, the performance of it is ridiculously high performance. There's not to sixty on the most, the highest, the fastest one, which is ludicrous mode. Ludicrous mode. Because insane mode was the one before. Yeah, it's, it's two point eight seconds from not to sixty, which is like like hypercar well, it's, fast. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, and you know, and also you can <laughs> you can have the there's so much space in it because it's an electric car. It's got a pretty long wheelbase. There's a, 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 I think they call it a frunk, like a, a yeah, 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 tr- yeah, 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 a yeah. boot in the front. Yeah, uh, the front, the front is just it's, it's just, just empty. There's no it's engine. Empty space. Yeah. and the back's obviously got no space. So there's, the, the engine's just basically built into the wheelbase. Mm. Um, you could load it up with like almost as much stuff as you can get in a in a small transit yeah. van. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. There's the drive shaft that runs down the middle of those of cars normally. You know where it has that big yeah. ridge in the middle. That doesn't exist. It's all yeah. flat bottom. Yeah. Um, and you can even have two extra seats be put in the back of the Model S, yeah, so it can take people. seven people. That's mental. It's mental. So a car, a car that does zero to sixty in two point eight seconds. Oh uh, yeah. Which obviously wouldn't do that if you fully loaded it. Yeah. But you could take seven people in that that that, car. that 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 model of car. Yeah. Is also able to be that yeah. user friendly and have yeah. that much space in it. And it's just so much better than it's just like head and shoulders above like almost any other car. You just you certainly yeah, and and also it's got a range of like three hundred and something. I think the highest one, the ninety kilowatt one, some three hundred and something. Miles range or kilometers? Don't remember. That's a lot. I didn't realize it was that high. I think it think it's getting to what? Yeah, three hundred. That's man. That's, that's mad. pretty sure. Um, but the, and, I mean, you have all the supercharger network as well. Well, yeah. So this, they did. You know, this free charging for the life of the car on the, this is not like a Tesla sales thing. This is why I said <laughs> earlier, like we're talking about Tesla because. <laughs> yeah, but this is. I mean, it was. It I was. I was when it. when I started re- understanding like what the te- Model S was. I couldn't believe it because I, 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 yeah, I, I you suddenly realise it's ridiculous I was about to say it's free charging for the lifetime of the car and it can charge like in 20 minutes or something on these superchargers mm. to put like 150, 200 miles of range in it or something like mm. that um, and you just suddenly realise like it's, it obviously makes sense 
to go electric like there's so many more advantages than just just saving the planet which seems like a nebulous thing to most people yeah like it's just a better way of building a car yeah not for every situation i think there's still there are still going to be things like um where you need exceptionally long range and and uh maybe maybe in things like if you're going out into like a desert expedition sure. you probably want old school internal combustion yeah, engine at cars least until there's like a revolution in battery technology yes yeah 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 yeah, yeah. um but but for city driving for most motorway driving for you know most yeah, yeah, situations yeah. really in which you find yourself in a car uh, using in a day-to-day life yeah it like just it, makes total it, sense to go electric it just sudden it's suddenly like oh that that was obviously the way that it sh- we should be doing it yeah. and everyone has suddenly started realizing that's why tesla's valuation which might be quite high, you know overinflated some yeah. people say but w- whatever it, it's at, where it's at now is something it's like 30 it's worth 30 trillion uh, 30 trillion 30 trillion <laughs> 30 billion or something like that I can't remember the market cap is um, but it, it, it's, like, it's worth the same as much as like Toyota or something ridiculous like that or Honda yeah Close, that's, that's and, insane. which is crazy yeah, uh, considering they only produce well they produce two types of car now mm. the uh, S and the X mm. um, but they have to ramp up their production but massively the reason the reason Seems. everyone suddenly started taking notice of this is because the, the car is so good yeah and their marketing is obviously very good as well yeah um, and yeah, everyone yeah. sees it as like a it's not only it's it's now cool to have a Tesla it's yes. cool to have an electric car yeah. but it's not cool in the Prius way where it's like, oh, I like, yeah, like oh, I'm, I'm going to save the planet it's like I've got a fucking fast car yeah I've got a bad ass car <laughs> yeah yeah. and it's not so pretentious it's a- and kind of like hyper car kind of overcompensating type no it's vehicle. not it's like a perfect balance between like practical and badass yeah like right yeah. down that line and it's got that and it is a, like a nerd box as well if you're into that sort of yeah, stuff yeah it's, like, it's a piece of tech as yeah. we were talking yeah, about yeah I mean the tech CS shows thing. are reviewing it like an yeah. iPhone exactly yeah the user interface is like really really futuristic and cool mm. um, yeah it's it's, ama- it's really really nice and it, it's certainly like in most of the regions of the world the most, like, the most population dense regions of the world mm. using this kind of transport makes more sense than combustion engines yeah as the only saying. the only thing that's prohibitive really is the cost because they are slightly more expensive at the moment. Yes, that will come down though. Yeah, well, yeah, that that's the whole point of their like their third stage of their yeah. So the Model S is, is is expensive. Uh, I think it starts at like sixty thousand yeah, dollars. Oh, I think more. I think the base the oh, most no, yeah. basic yeah, one yeah, might yeah. be I'm sixty thousand dollars, which is seventy. I think is it. So the Model X <laughs> is what like a is like a 4 by 4 version of the Model S sort of thing kind of like, yeah like sort of like an SUV type like yeah. big just a bit more space S. it's got those fancy Falcon wing doors and whatnot yeah. in it which are cool um, yeah which is which are really cool yeah and the, and the full glass roof which I don't think the Model S has no I don't think it does I don't which know. I like a lot yeah that's very nice the Model 3 has that as well though yeah which is their most recent one which people have seen uh, in the news a little bit yeah very recently um, yeah, and that is like that's kind that's kind their... of like their main event really yeah, that's always what they're aiming towards. I think that might they had be... to do the they had to do like the the roadster, the Model S, and the Model X. Well, yeah, it's like a pyramid Model... shape thing. Exactly. Small, yeah. Like high price, small production, mid range. You know, mid production, mid yeah. quite a high price. Still show the world down. what electric cars can be. Yeah. And what the infrastructure for electric cars can be, and like how how they could be used as a, an alternative mode of transport. Yeah. And then like bring in this the mass produced cheap. Yeah. Uh, affordable. Starting to car. get affordable now. Yeah. Yeah. So how much is it? Is it going to be? Like I think thirty five thousand dollars starting the base rate, which works out as like twenty something thousand pounds. Okay. Which I mean it sounds like a lot of money, but like that's that's pretty affordable. Like that, that compares closely with, with like that's very competitive. Mm. For like that size car and like that that type of car. Like yes. the niche that it's filling, that's a very, very competitive price. Yeah, 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 it is. And I mean the 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 model three is basically it's a bit smaller than the model s isn't it it's, it's, yeah, it's we don't smaller. know much about the model three at the moment well they did they did that launch of the day which but is it, like it will have like a decent range it'll have like 200 and something mile range yeah um 215 miles or something like that i yeah. think they said minimum yeah naught to 60 in like just under six seconds which is really fast for a just a family it's car. like a little yeah um and that this is that i think they had and all the supercharger networks and all that kind yeah. of stuff like and all the space you'll get from it, uh, and the fact that it's going to have all these, you know, autopilot features, every yeah. all the all the kind of extra things that comes with the Teslas, um, means that there's a huge amount of people that have pre-ordered them. Yeah, it's fucking it's insane. So the Leaf, the Nissan Leaf, yeah. sold 
like 200,000 vehicles or something in its, yeah. in its first five years. <laughs> I already know the numbers for the Model 3. Well, so. Yeah. And the, and the Model 3 was uh, something, ne- it was like 270 or nearly 300,000 or something or pre-orders in the first weekend, the first three days. Yeah. Like in the first hour, it was up to like 130,000. <laughs> Which is insane. That's like, and people are queuing outside Tesla garages yeah. to go and order them, like it's a, like an iPhone launch or something. Yeah, that's a, it's exactly what it seemed like it was. Even though it's not even, it's not even going to be on the streets until be- at best end of twenty seventeen, probably later. Well, it, it, uh, Elon Musk was saying about how he's gonna. The Model X hasn't even started shipping yet. So. I know, I know. Yeah. Um, they're, and they're going to have trouble producing that many cars. Yes, they definitely like, are. The, the, they're I, aiming for something like 500,000 a year, aren't they? That's what they're aiming for, yeah. And they've, but, they've got, they're building this gigafactory thing to help produce the batteries, which is one of the reasons of the you can get sl- it cheap. Yeah. You have a scale of economy and mass with uh, mass manufacturing techniques and stuff. You, yeah. can, you can reduce the cost of producing yeah, yeah, the batteries. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, to, to get to that number, they are going to struggle with production. Yeah. R- like... Signif- that's a significant challenge for Tesla. Yeah, they're, because they produce something like I don't know, like fifty thousand cars a year or something like that at the moment. Not even do they even produce that? I'm gonna let that. I have up. no idea. I think I think I think the like, the past year, twenty fifteen, was the most cars they've ever produced in a yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, I think that's true. Um, I think they reckon that their their manufacturing plant, wherever it is in California, can do five hundred thousand in a year. Um, but do five five hundred times? They they reckon, they reckon they absolute maximum if they push it they can do that. Batteries are a bottleneck, but the gigafactory will sort that out. That gigafactory is is fucking ridiculous, by the way. Have you seen pictures of it recently? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's some parts of it are operational now. Yeah, like, I it's know. actually yeah, functional. That's what I'm have you seen like it just last time I saw it, it was like a like, couple of years ago. It was just like a yeah, like <laughs> or a, a clearing, like a frame. Yeah, um, and now it's a building. They, f- they filled it in. <laughs> It doubles the world's production of lithium-ion batteries. They went in on in with a uh, Panasonic on it, didn't they? Is it Panasonic? Panasonic, I think Panasonic. Oh, really? Um, have have uh, like help fund part of it or something? It's like a joint venture between. Well, that's what they need. They need a big injection of cash so that they can get their um their uh, production rates up. Yes, like yeah, a yeah. Big, and injection. they're burning through cash like crazy. Yeah, Tesla, yeah, just plugging it into uh, R and D and and production and setting yeah. up all this stuff. Um, so, so everything kind of rests on this Model Three. Yeah. Uh, getting it right getting it made getting it shipped and, and sold I did hear otherwise they'll, f- they'll crash and burn uh, yeah and I did I did hear that uh, Elon Musk was going to not be the CEO once they'd sorted out the Model 3 really he said that he might step down as CEO I mean, post, he's a busy man, post so Model 3 fair enough um, because he felt like that would be if that all went like successfully that, that he had kind of set the go- set them on their way yeah um, and uh, obviously he's had time to recruit very very good people to fill in like you know all the bases below him and stuff oh, yeah, yeah. Would, I would have time to to find someone very good to run the company yeah so he can focus on SpaceX I SpaceX guess. or oh, god he's knows like what other awesome thing he's yeah. going to start doing yeah um, yeah yeah so the model the model 3 model 3 lon <laughs> <laughs> that'll be his legacy the 3 lon the 3 lon <laughs> should definitely call it that the model S, Model E, Model X. X, and then the Model Y, which is presumably going to be some sort of like crossover type car. That's a, I think it's based on the Model Three. Yeah, but even without the Y, you still have a nice like a Model S, Model E, Model X. Yeah, so they changed to a three. Well, and the logo is basically an E still. Yes, it is. Yeah, so, so it's still yeah. they're still going to be able to write sexy or sex all over the yeah. marketing, um, which is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Okay. Um, yeah, so that that Model Y might come out, and that will be a another. Uh, another type of electric car probably like a small crossover type thing yeah yeah um and then looking further ahead um in terms of well te- let's think about tesla themselves they may after the the model three look to produce more than just one type of car mm. at once they've talked about that before mm. um so that could be anything from a new new roadster um which presumably will be mad fast because the Model S is faster than the Roadster and if you've got a tiny chassis and a beast engine a beast electric engine yeah. I mean, that thing's going to break your neck yeah the point of it will be to make like a super fast yeah. sports car yeah um, not, not which is not what the Model S is trying to be no, no. <laughs> so that would be very interesting yeah um, and then there was, I mean they could do it they could do like an eight, they could. Oh, I don't know if they could do like an HGV but something that's, like what, that. that's what I was thinking like if, if they take if it takes off and they suddenly become like a, 
a big like world player um, car manufacturer. Um, and you know the Model Three is very successful, and yeah. they managed to get their production rates up and everything. Yeah. Then maybe you will start to see, yeah, like HGVs and and trucks and and all kinds of things being manufactured by them.